Hi guys, Mr. Awful Waffles here. On your screen right now is some gameplay from my friend, I Pwn at Zombies, aka I Am That Michael, who has very kindly sent me a few clips of the AK-74U and the M1911 being used in Black Ops 3. Obviously, it's been recorded on PC, and so that's why he's using the guns local here so early. They've just been added in, those two guns, as supply drop weapons in the black market, and so I suppose my reasons for making this video are twofold. First of all, I figured that you guys would be interested in just seeing some gameplay of these absolutely classic weapons. I mean, it's the M1911 and the 74U, for goodness sake. Surely I need no further reason than that. But there is one, and that's that... I'm just a bit mystified as to why these things aren't in Chronicles. Like, we've just had this absolutely insane DLC drop with eight freaking maps in it, and they didn't go a tiny, tiny bit further and add in things like the M1911 in that spawn room when you load up Kino for the first time, and then you're running through that alleyway and you see the 74U on the wall. Like, I don't know why they couldn't have just gone a little further and introduce these guns. I mean, it's not a huge deal by any means, obviously, and uh, DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles is still blooming amazing, but I just feel like it would have been a logical thing to put that M1911 in the spawn, but, okay, and there is a big, a juicy but here. I honestly think, judging from this gameplay, that whatever they've done to bring the M1911 over from the old games forwards to Black Ops 3 has kind of butchered it in a way. Like, all of the old, just, I don't know, the special source that made that gun feel so good. I think a lot of it, honestly, was the sound, and also just the way that it was so weird and kind of shiny all of the time. <laughs> like, there was something about that gun in Kino da Toten, or for goodness sake, in the multiplayer as well, that was just so damn good. In fact, you know what? I'm going to stop talking for a second and just do a comparison for you guys. No power! Just like home! It kind of looks like a BB gun, and it kind of plays like a BB gun, and sounds like a BB gun, and I'm just kind of left thinking like, okay, I mean, I'm kind of glad the MR6 is in Kino now, <laughs> like, oh dearie me, <laughs> but I mean, let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me, or if you think that I'm completely losing my marbles, and that these are the best things since sliced bread. Because, to be honest, I think that there's probably going to be a bit of a debate over this one. Some people are going to love the remaster of these guns. Others are going to feel like they've been butchered. I'm leaning towards them being not quite as special as they used to be. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you want to go and give Michael a thank you, then click down into the video description down below. Go onto his video and say hello from me. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye.